Thank you first of all very much for speaking to Metro.co.uk about what's been an absolutely unmissable week of episodes. How were they to film for you when you first read that you'd be at the centre of such a huge week? Uh, how excited were you to film all this? You first? Yeah, you first. Um, well, I, I was quite lucky in that I, my stuff was quite isolated, so I wasn't involved in the whole big party thing, so I think the first part of the of the actual I was excited about it, but I, I came back off holiday and then I was kind of and then I was kind of in this very busy week. But um, my part in it was was big, but not as not as as not as busy as say like being at the party. You had to be in the party. You had to be kind of the, the mm. wedding at the hospital and things like that. So it was slightly different for you. Yeah, yeah it was quite busy. Yeah, yeah. I sort of was at the party hospital. Um, chapel, you know, yeah, she did jump around a little bit, so yeah, it was good. Yeah, quite a hectic week for Debbie, so she ends the week in the prison cell, but obviously she's got the worries about Sarah's health, she doesn't know where Joe is, yeah. um, so what kind of state of mind is she in by the end of this? Constant, constant week? turmoil. Yeah, yeah. constant turmoil. Constant uh, yeah, turmoil. She's, she's quite frantic. Um, she goes from one thing to another, like, you know, she goes from just getting married, to then Joe being gone, to then Sarah being I ill. I think to she, seeks, she seeks out trouble. Yeah. Oh yeah. She'd be bored otherwise, wouldn't yeah. she? Yeah. <laughs> She'd be bored. Yeah. She's. Yeah. She's all over the place. She's always all over the place. Yeah. And it's quite weird to think after everything Kane's done, he puts people in car boots on a weekly basis. Just. Yeah. I mean, that's a car that's boots. Putting someone in a car boot is. That's a bit of a prank, that. Yeah. That's just you know, a joke. You know. But but car boot to thinking that you. Well, as far as he's concerned, he's he's dead. Mm. He's never done this before, so this is you know. New territory for him. Yeah, and it doesn't quite frighten King because normally he's in control. But out of control, else. totally out of control. Graham takes control of the situation and tells him to, to go, and then he does what he does, which is we don't know. Yeah, and should Kane trust Graham or do you think he should be constantly would you? watching him? Definitely not. Would you trust Kane? Uh, more than Graham. I think. <laughs> there you go. More than there. Graham, which is saying there something. There you go, yeah. Yeah. And uh, how, how do you think Debbie might react if uh, obviously she might spend all this time wondering where Joe is, mm -hmm. but for all this time he, he's, as far as we know, lying dead under a viaduct. What would this do to Debbie, because she could have had that happiness with him, if she found out that Kane might have been involved in that? How yeah, would she, I don't know. Them? I think it could be the downfall of their relationship, maybe. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's big. It's really it'll big. It'll be big, yeah. Mm. I think if she does eventually find out, it's definitely going to destroy them a little mm. bit. But I sort of think they'll always get back because it's it wouldn't be the same would it really if if, if they no, weren't no but it's a, it's level. a nice it's a nice um, potential situation for them to, to, for them to be in it's, again this is new territory for them because yeah. this has never happened before so. yeah and very finally just what about Moira because obviously she's got her own experience of um, covering up Thatcher's mouth could they could she be a pillar of support if she ever found I think her? so. I think if there's one person, I mean, if you if you look at it at the face of it, the one person that could help Kane massively in this with a little bit of experience of uh, murder <laughs> is uh, is Moira. So yeah, yeah. true, true that. That was my uh, best Scottish. That was very good. Thank you very much. Yes. Thanks. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Really appreciate it.